specific kinds of brain cancer we all should know about. That's uh, one of the questions we are exploring today. Dr. Vikram Yudani is the director of neuro-oncology at Sharp and joins us now for some insight. Dr. Uh, Senator McCain is 80 years old. This cancer, as we heard uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta talking about, is especially aggressive. So what is next for him? What is his prognosis? Well, Senator McCain had a minimally invasive craniotomy with, as Sanjay Gupta said, an incision right above the left eyebrow. I think his recovery from surgery is going to be pretty quick just because uh, this wasn't a large or uh, extensive craniotomy that he required. My guess is that he'll probably be going home in the next few days. Once he does recover from the surgery, he will require chemotherapy and radiation, and then he'll need serial imaging every two to three months to see if there is recurrence of tumor. How about the diagnosis? I mean, what uh, Sanjay Gupta was saying was that McCain went into the doctor feeling relatively fine, except for maybe a little bit of fatigue and double vision. He is 80 years old, and all of a sudden they find what they found. Uh, what do we need to look out for, uh, especially as we get older, or, or really anybody, uh, as far as signs go? So glioblastomas, unfortunately, are pretty quickly growing tumors. So things like headaches are very common. Seizures are especially common. So if you do have a new seizure that you haven't had before, that's something that requires immediate medical attention. And then things like nausea or vomiting can be indicative of pressure in the brain being elevated. Otherwise, anything that could mimic a stroke, things like trouble with speech, trouble with vision, trouble with movement, these are all things that could also be caused by a brain tumor. Uh, what makes us uh, prone to this? Is, is it mostly hereditary or is there something else that could potentially lead to uh, a diagnosis like this? These are sporadic tumors. So as far as we know, there is no particular genetic or environmental link to them. All we do know is that as we get older, our risk of having them does go up. Uh, let's talk about a couple other uh, notable politicians, since it's uh, kind of in that realm that we're talking about, who have gone through this. We're talking about Senator Ted Kennedy about Bo Biden, um, both of whom died as a result of this prognosis. Uh, how is Senator McCain's uh, situation comparable to what, uh, what they faced? I think it is similar uh, in that uh, Senator Kennedy died after about 15 months after he was diagnosed. Bo Biden died about two years after his, he was diagnosed. And those are all kind of within the typical time frame. 14 months is the average survival. But what I tell my patients is that that means that half of patients live less than 14 months and half live more. And a small percentage, up to 10 percent, do survive five years or more. So the odds are not great. but. There is hope. Has anything uh, progressed as far as treatment goes since their diagnosis? Uh, Ted Kennedy was uh, quite a few years ago. Now, Bo Biden was just a couple years ago. But we just saw President Jimmy Carter at 90 years old was diagnosed with a different form of brain cancer and beat it using, I believe, immunotherapy. Is, is that an option for McCain? At this point, I think his treatment is going to be surgery, which he had, followed by chemotherapy and radiation. There certainly are clinical trials that are ongoing with new types of drugs. I would say that these are all still in the experimental phases, though. Is there a chance that McCain could get into a clinical trial or, or something to that effect, considering the new possible treatments that are out there? Absolutely. So what we do now is that we analyze these tumors on a genetic scale. We look at all the molecular mo markers on the surface of the tumor, and we see what types of drugs the tumor may respond to. Depending on what his molecular markers show, he certainly could be eligible for various clinical trials. Okay, we certainly wish uh, Senator McCain the best. Of course, we appreciate your insight. Dr. Yudani from, from Sharp, we appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.